crypto, so everything's yeah. bits. You can tip with bits and stuff, and yeah. it's distributed. But he's a like super nerd. He's into all that crypto shit. I just... <laughs> It's too much for me. I like bow hunting. That's yeah, all, that's all I'm time. into. I don't have time for this crypto stuff. Right. I, I, I believe in it. I think it's it holds promise. Every now and then one of those FTX things happens where everybody loses billions. And I'm like, yeah, yes. exactly. See? That's why I didn't get involved in any of that shit. Right. There was a few of those companies that tried to get me involved in sponsors and mm-hmm. stuff like that and do ads. And I was like, what are you doing? What is this? And Coins? also those, what about those card things? Oh, uh, you mean an NFT? Yeah. Yeah, see, that is not real. I, I guess it's sort of an NFT, but that's really just an art gift from oh. this guy, Beeple. And Beeple, who is this uh, really cool artist who puts up a new piece of art every day, oh. 365 days a year. He does stuff like that. And it's all, have you ever seen his stuff? I think maybe. But pull, up, pull up Beeple's Instagram. It's wild, wild shit. Yeah, I want to But look. he actually has a gallery. And in his gallery, he has things like this, but enormous ones, mm. like big giant things that mm-hmm. he's made and all these, like, it's really cool stuff. So that's a different kind of an NFT. Yeah, you know, that's like pretty sick. His his NFTs are, you're getting digital, actual digital art, and it actually comes like this thing that he sent us it's mm-hmm. like it it moves it's got like a little qr code and you can scan yeah. that it's and pretty cool yeah it's a different sort of experience but for the most part i think the nft shit that's sam bank from free to jail whack it off to pictures of his ex <laughs> that's that, him that was, put that that's picture awesome. up yeah that's, that's, that's his cell he's got the other oh guy my. on the wall with his eyes crossed out that's the guy that ratted him out oh an i heart see there's a lot Look at his, what is that's that? That's his ex-girlfriend. See his lotion there? Yes. L- Luberderm? Hilarious. I mean, <laughs> this is the kind of shit this guy does, and he does it that every day. Hilarious. That he's a, He's a super cool guy, too. We had him in. Yeah. He was a lot of fun. Mm. So that, I understand. That is digital art. I mm. understand that. But there's a lot of the NFTs, like the Bored Ape Yacht Club. Yeah. I was like, what is it? What is it? What? Yeah. Uh, for a while there, it seemed like everybody was making like millions. I'm like... So what what do I got to do here? <laughs> and so can I make a hunting photo and NFT and just make a bunch of money or how does this work? I think a lot of people thought that at first. And mm-hmm. maybe if you hopped on the bandwagon at the very beginning before everybody kind of woke up, there's no there's no there there. Right. So like here's the thing. Like people are like, well, it's yours and you own it. Nobody. Can yeah. But I could take a screenshot of it and I have it on my phone. Yeah. And it's where weird. are you going to look at it other than your phone? Like, I literally have what someone paid a million dollars for if I wanted to get a screenshot of yeah. it. I could get that, and then it's on my it. phone. I it's not even it. a different resolution. Hmm. Like, what? Oh, it's, but it's not in your crypto wallet. Okay. <laughs> I guess you win. I love this argument. It's fun. But, like, that's the same. Like, do you have a screenshot of the Mona Lisa on your phone? You don't own the Mona Lisa. That's, no, like, that's no, no, that no, no, no. It's very different because the Mona Lisa is a physical painting made by a master artist that's in a frame, and you could look at it and you could ponder the thought behind it, the artistic expression, the technique and brush strokes and painting. This guy Let's, from hundreds and hundreds of years ago created yeah. this masterpiece that but endures today. Couldn't you do that on your phone, too? I mean, yeah. you could like. What about yeah, but it's the, a pain. Uh, Look, if you had a, a copy of the Mona Lisa, mm-hmm. and you, like a print, and you put that on your wall, I could. I mean, that still has merit. That's still yeah. a piece of art. Mm-hmm. But like the Bored Ape, Ape Yacht Club, you could pull up one of them. Well, bored I was going to say apes. With, with this, with the Salvatore Monday, it would solve okay. that. It would solve a lot of the problem with this because you would have known that mm-hmm. Leonardo made it because when it was first printed and he made it for sale, ideally five hundred years ago it would have been on the blockchain and like the history of that would have been known. And there was only one of them made and all of that. Hmm. If it was an NFT 500 years ago, if it, it, I'm not saying like, if it was equivalent to what NFTs are now, you would have this, the, the problem that existed with that whole documentary and like who made it, was it repainted and all that kind of stuff would never have been, that whole thing would have never existed. Okay. But this, that's not the best example. I see what you're saying. That's but an example though. I'm yeah. To say. This is a way more complicated story. Do you know about that thing? Go back to that image no. again, please. Mm-mm. That thing is wild mm. because that is supposedly a lost Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. Supposedly. Uh, but the problem is there's a whole documentary on it. Is it called The Last Le- the Lost Leonardo? Is that the documentary? It sounds right. I mean, the pic- picture is called Salvatore Mundi. Right. 
What is the documentary, the documentary about? But that sure. painting was the most expensive painting I believe ever sold, hmm. or one of the most expensive. And they auctioned it at Christie's, and it sold for four hundred and fifty million dollars. Oh my god! Yeah. Now here's the problem with it. 